What is going on guys, it's Suburban Angling and I am back out here doing some more river fishing for you guys. I'm recording this intro, technically the intro before the intro, but don't worry guys, it, it, it's not going to drag. It's just funny, I'm recording this intro after getting home from recording the video that's coming out after the one you're watching right now. And I came home and I was like, what a m more perfect time than to record an intro for the video that's before the one that I recorded today in my waiter. You know, I, I haven't even got like situated at home yet but yeah super ready for this video to come out for you guys it's a banger i mean i'm just gonna come out and say it. it's a banger we gotta get a little catch and cook at the end we caught nine species i don't know if all nine species are included in the video but we banged them out drone footage shout out to my boy dom just wanted to make this intro before the intro to say if you did see some of this drone footage before in another video it was from my buddy david because my buddy dom sent us both the drone footage and we obviously were both allowed to use it so we worked with it and we both made videos using it so obviously there might be one or or two 10 second clips that are the same in my video as they are my buddy david aka the fish finishers video but other than that it's all my clips all my own original stuff you know what i mean but again shout out to dom for coming out and recording just like he did today he came out today and helped me re-record it we actually doubled up a few times he threw the plop around got some top water blow ups it was awesome but that's besides the point today we're here to watch this video i sincerely hope you guys enjoy and obviously you know it was a very long video, a very hectic day, so I tried to piece it together the best I could, and I hope you guys enjoyed the way I did it. Peace out. What's going on, guys? It's Suburban Angling, and we are out here doing some more river fishing for you guys. So yesterday, I recorded an intro, recorded a whole video that you guys will never see because it was some straight doo-doo water. So today, we got one, two, three yaks. We're going to have like four different lures. We got my boy Dom. You guys know Dom. I got my boy David. You obviously know David, so we're going to get it going. And hopefully we can catch some walleye auger, white bass, smallmouth, musky, catfish, anything that swims in this river, we're going to attempt to put a hook in its mouth. So, yeah. You already know the drill, man. See you guys on the water. On. Yes, sir. Oh, with a great release. He smacked it, bro. Bah, thought it was a small mouth. Got, got him. Nah, a little smally. He is kind of white. Right. I saw a smally. Ten inches. State record. I didn't even feel him on, dude. On. He fell right in my net. <laughs> he fell right in my net, bro. <laughs> Come on, baby. That's the same one. <laughs> Yeah, they did, bro. They caught like a 50, bro. They legit caught a 50. Look, I got bit already. I was just reeling it in to like with it and it, look. Yeah, it's 
definitely oh wait, is it a walleye? It's a walleye. Yes. No, it's a catfish. It's a little cat. Five foot if you really want to. Look at that little leech on his fin. Oh yeah. Dude, there's probably a ton of just like white bass. Like five of those is a good meal, or just like. That was, I mean, bro, I was literally reeling it in to like, to like a. Yeah, but that first drum, damn, you ripped the rod out the holder. You heard it too. I was just oh, sitting. Really had your braid sounding like you had a pike hook on the frog, making the. Like he legit ripped a little drag for a little second. <laughs> oh, biggin. Oh. No biggin. Get the net. What is that? Oh, that's what's got me, no son. Way. That alligator. That in the mouth. What? Bro, Jacked him. I was just bro, <laughs> I've never in my life seen a turtle caught in the mouth of a Well, this thing is like soft shell, dude. It is soft Their neck, his neck he, can come yeah, out like his neck can foot. Get you good. Don't even. I got this. His neck can get you good. Dude, I think you knocked him out with the hook set. <laughs> yeah, that boy is legit. I'm not lying. I think you killed him with the hook set. I broke his neck, dude. Yeah, you did. <laughs> like a chicken. <laughs> Bro, you, you, <laughs> wrung, you wrung his neck. Oh, you wrung his neck. Kurt. No Kurt. You run his neck with the hook and it is what it is, right? <laughs> it is what it is. Bro. Gee. <laughs> yeah, Chicken head, bro. Bro. He's Dude, look at his eyes. Roll back in his head. Dude, dude. he <laughs> broke his neck with the hook set. Get that good release real quick. Bro. That's crazy. Get that good release. What the fuck? Have you ever heard of people doing that with snake heads? Look, he's oh. dead as fuck. Oh. No what a day, bro. He ate the Ned Rig, bro. Dude, that, that Ned Rig's the best lure right now, dude. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I got it. <laughs> I got it. Yeah, no, he literally, he literally, he was sitting there, his head went like. <laughs> <laughs> For a second, we get a 15 and a half inch walleye drifting a night crawler. Drifting a night crawler. Look at little, little toothy bud. Heck yeah, that's good eating right there, buddy. You can sell it to a restaurant for like probably seven, eight bucks right there. there you go. <laughs> Legit, cause okay, I it hit the bottom right, but then when it was shooting to the right, and then I was that's current, but then it made one specific bob. Yeah, it, it like it was like one big thump and then da, 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 da. That's, we both knew like yeah. did that, that, yeah. like, oh, dude. He's getting that splash probably got his attention though. Right, he came right. Yeah, that was legit on the drift. Like I hit the water, I lifted the rod out, and he ate it. I knew it was a, either a big walleye or a smallie too. Not from when he was fighting. From once I pulled him out and I saw that first splash, I was like, shit. Love. Six species now, plus the dead turtle. What if he was dead and you just snagged him? <laughs> right in his mouth. <laughs> he swallowed that. Like... like, I feel bad for keeping them, but I don't. Get in my belly. And then there's like a gnat, whatever that is. I just, so one of these holes is gonna be like ridiculous. All right, boys, Dom's about to fly a drone above us for some B-roll for this video, so yeah. Pray, pray that I catch a few more fish on camera, not off camera, so we get a video for you folks. And then pray that his drone doesn't get clipped by a little eagle buddy.
All right, guys, so we have Dom's drone doing tons of B-roll. Shout out to Dom, dude, freaking love the guy. He's always getting some great footage for me and he does it, does it without pay. Just does it, does it for the sake of fun and because he loves to come out and fish with me. And for that, I will be forever grateful. All right, I'm gonna try to cast over in that corner over there, I guess. In this muddy slop. It's not bad up here. Right in the juice. Oh, a fish just surfaced right there. Yeah, there's gar in there. There's a bunch of fish in there. Literally about to just let it sit just like that. Got one. Got one! Let's see what we got. I think it's a drum. Yeah, it's a drum. Big old drum. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yo, tell David to get over here, man. These guys are uh, active. A little drum buddy for you guys. All right guys, so I've been recording today's video and I haven't talked to the camera much. I haven't really done too much involving you guys because today's just been hectic. Like every hole we pulled up to has been like action, but unexpected, you know, like just yesterday was so slow. Today it's a like boom, 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 boom. And I'm just trying to do my best to just capture every moment on camera. And then like, obviously I can, you know, talk and commentate on it later and make updates on it later. But I'm just trying my best right now to kind of stay in the game and catch as many fish as I can while at the same time, obviously entertaining you guys. Ooh. Ooh. I'm about to put a live chubby on there. I'm about to put whatever the live, any, there's like one or two live ones left. Oh. That's all we saw was a bunch of parts there. Just vertical jig, it just like drifts naturally. Don't even, don't do nothing different than you were doing. On the fall. On the fall. Like nah, it's a small mouth. Large mouth. Yeah, that's what I'm about to do. And I recorded that little, little pip squeak, a little pale buddy right there. All right, we're about to pull off on the bank for on them boys. Luckily, I got that Power Pro V2 super slick. He's big on. Old hybrid, maybe. He's on. That's a hybrid. Wow, that's, that's a, a big old white bag. Yeah, that's the size I caught in the Illinois yesterday. That's a big old white bag. Yeah, that's about a pound and a half, maybe two. It's a good. All right, guys. I just took cast a live worm in this eddy because. Oh, I'm on. Yeah, I'm on. He got off, but it's probably a little baby cat, which is a good thing. That just means I got to get right back in there. It's deep right there. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm really trying to get. I already got hit. I'm pretty sure. Unless that was my rod turning. Yeah, there's a lot of like catfish, gar, drum type stuff in here. So I'm just gonna work this night crawler, see if I can't sauce one more cat. And then if I catch a few on like worms, and it's, oh yeah, I already, I'm already getting absolutely hammered. But if I catch a few on these worms and it's just like getting stupid, I'm gonna put a live chub down there or some minnows, cause we do got like two or three left. And I will see what we can't do. They literally hit you with their yeah, like straight up. It's not even like, oh, I don't like that. Oh, oh, yeah, he's on. Bro, how is he gonna bend the rod like straight up, like, doo, doo, doo. flexing and finessing? Whatever. That, that lets me know that it's probably something decent. I feel like if it was a gar, I would have just broke off by now. I hope. I like to think positively out here. Look, I'm already getting absolutely hammered. Rod tip bouncing. 
Come on now, son. Yeah. Oh my God. Is he gonna be on there or what? Like, holy. Sh Thank you. It's a drum, buddy. I can already tell it's a sh drum. Wait. That's a keeper, though. That's a. Yeah, but that's like a. Like if you were down south, they would tell you that's the best size to eat. All right, guys. I got my. Yeah, look. That's not. That's not a bad size to keep for like. That's a perfect like little. Two clean ass fillets off that cat. You would get some real clean fillets off that cat. And this is also. You know how easy they are to fillet. No, imagine how easy it is to fillet this little cat. weird I'm gonna put this cat in my net for now that's a good eating size catfish <sighs> I'm ready to get hammered on this bait on this pole again though like shit like this is fun to me finding a little creek hole loaded with fish getting on right now I'm just casting it 10 feet off the shore right here I'm on. Yeah, he's on. That's nice. Whatever it is. I think it's a drum. It's, it's, getting, it's getting, it's fighting real hard. Yeah. You know it's a drum when they fight real hard and then act, and then it's like nothing at all. Then it's real, real hard and then it's, there's no weight at all. Because it's how they, they're, they're weird. All right, boys. Little drummer boy. Dun, 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 dun. All right, boys, so a lot of you might have seen the term catch and cook mentioned in this video's title description, and I might have mentioned it in the intro earlier. I don't know how I edited this video, but <laughs> watching that boy struggle, God, big time struggle. But anyway, so we got a lot of fish today. Now, we obviously not everything was on video, sorry about that, but when you're like, you know what I mean, in, in new territory exploring, you just don't know what's gonna happen at any given moment. As you can see, we got a bunch of eight, not even eight, probably 10 to 16 inch white bass. We got some a perfect size eater cat right there, a nice walleye and a, you know, obviously the tip, the tippy top <laughs> of, the, of the totem pole is that big old four pound cat. I wear, we probably wouldn't eat one that was five, but that's like a good eater size right there. And all the rest of these are obviously good eater sizes. We wouldn't, we wouldn't just throw some things on the stringer, you know what I mean? So yeah, enough about the fish. Pop it over to me real quick. <clears throat> Today was obviously a really great day on the water. And like I said, we have never fished this stretch. Like, okay, the first two miles I haven't ever fished. And then the rest of it, I had never fished. David had never fished the first two miles, but he did fish one time the last half of the flow. But it was still pretty, pretty new to both of us. And it was just a dope ass, you know, especially because all the times that I've come down here, if you guys know about any of the videos I've made down here, I've been in like the winter, late fall, winter. Now it's like all, pretty much mid spring and these fish are kind of, they're a little, you know, they're ready to go. So we're gonna fillet all these fish. There's no reason to show you guys that. If you wanna know how to fillet a fish, go on YouTube, look at how to fillet so and so and you will learn. I'm sure I'll show that in a different video one day, but I'm, but the thing is we're just kinda, you know, we're out here, we're trying to get it done fast. So I will show you guys once we're done filleting it, when we're preparing the fish. So I'll see you guys there. The only thing is the colors on this are a little bit different than the GoPro, but I can assure you guys that's some straight. Oh yeah, there you go. That's some straight white meat right there. Decent. Real decent. <laughs> Alright guys, so we got some walleye right here and right here. And you can see the difference in the flag as you can see where we cut the rib cage out, like the little curve right there. And then we got a catfish fillet right here, which kind of looks like a little perch fillet, but there's some, a little bit of yellow meat on there. I don't really know if you can see that, but yeah, it's a little cat fillet. And we got some big cut up cat over here. And we got a bunch of white bass. He made a little beer batter. And we're about to do it up with a little bit of mix. Yeah, this is gonna be decent. This is high already too. There should be some. Cause I like that when when you do a smaller clean, it's you know what I mean. It's a clean cook right there. Oh, I know. Like you get more definitely. It's like a nugget, like you said. The breading is is like is like full. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then it's open back up. I'm telling you. He said, he said, I got the remedy, G. I promise. You're gonna look at these and be like, I've never seen this guy so, so far in my life. Honestly, if you started dropping them kind of slow, I could drop these in behind me. Yeah. Around here. Oh. Yeah. I'm gonna put them right, just put it on, it's okay on the countertop. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that bitch gonna be hot. Alright, bro. Dropping the nuggies. Look at how good, like, you feel me? It's coated. I'll be snacking on this shit on the regular though. It don't matter how much I cook, I do will get it in the fridge type of shit. Yeah, if it is. Yes, sir. Chick-fil-A nugget, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, you wouldn't think twice. Get a couple pieces in there. Just jam that up. It's over with. Yeah, it's over with. Finished product. Gas. Stupid gas. See you guys at the outro. Alright, boys. We have made it to the outro. If you are watching this outro, like the 5% of you who click on this video that made it this far, you're sincerely appreciated, dude. Like you, you're a goat. Because the fact that you made it this far means that you general, genuinely enjoyed this video and you're genuinely enjoying the content that I'm putting out. And I really appreciate that. And if you're one of those people, you should, and you're not subscribed, and you haven't liked this video or already commented, you should. I mean, I highly suggest you do so because I am going to post bangers like this all the time. My channel is only going to get bigger, guys. I'm trying to make this my living, fishing my living, social media is something my living. I don't want to be a millionaire YouTuber. Obviously, that happens. Okay, but you know what I'm trying to get at? Like, that's not the end goal. I'm just trying to, you know, make fishing my career somehow. And this is my stepping stone to do so. So I really appreciate each and every one of you who make it this far in my video because you guys are the ones that give me the most watch time and you guys are the i mean just to keep it real you guys are the fans you guys are the supporters that matter the most in the eyes of youtube you know what i mean you guys are the ones who are getting me the watch time you guys are the ones that are helping me stay in the algorithm appreciate you guys if you enjoyed this video and like i said like i said before if you enjoyed the video and you haven't subscribed you haven't liked this video you haven't commented i highly suggest you do so thanks for watching guys enjoy the rest of your night evening whenever you watch this video and peace out